I happen to have played in Germany. I know the German people. Well, I studied in Germany for five years and in Austria, and I'll tell you... In Austria? Where? Psychoanalytic Institute, Vienna. You're a psychiatrist. No wonder he's so pessimistic. Where did you live? I'm Viennese. Well, excuse me, but perhaps it would be wiser not to speak in detail. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Yes, of course. I was only curious if you knew Baron Kessler. He was very interested in the medical school. No, I was never in that circle. Oh, but he is extremely democratic. Uh, he is my cousin, you see. You're a nobleman? Yes. What's your name? Wilhelm Johann von Berg. The prince. Yes. Oh, oh forgive me, have we met? Uh, no, but naturally I've heard your name. I believe it's one of the oldest houses in Austria. Oh, uh, that's of no importance anymore. Now, what the hell would they want with an Austrian prince? I mean, you're Catholic, right, Prince? Yes. Is your title on your papers? Yes, on my passport. Were you uh, political or something? No, no, I never had any interest in that direction. Of course, there is this resentment towards the nobility. I, that might have something to do with it. In the Nazis, resentment? Certainly. Really? I've never been aware of that. Oh, I assure you. Well, on what ground? You're not asking that seriously. Yes, don't be offended. I'm simply ignorant of that situation. I suppose I've always assumed that the aristocracy is behind a reactionary regime. There are some, certainly, but for the most part, they never took responsibility in any case. Oh, I see. By responsibility, you mean, I suppose, that I they... I don't know. Whatever that means. Forgive me, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry into your affairs. I'd never thought about it, but I suppose it's obvious that they would want to destroy whatever power you had. No, no, I have no power. And if I did, it would be a day's work for them to destroy it. That's not the issue. But what is it, then? Believe me, I'm not being critical. Quite the contrary. <laughs> but these are obvious answers. I have a certain standing. My name is a thousand years old, and uh, uh, they know the danger of someone like me is perhaps not vulgar enough. And by vulgar, you mean... Uh... Well, don't you think Nazism, whatever else it may be, is uh, an outburst of vulgarity, uh, an ocean of vulgarity? You make it sound like they have bad table manners, that's all. <laughs> they certainly do, yes. Nothing angers them more than any sign of uh, refinement. It is decadence, you see. What kind of a statement is that? You mean you left Austria because of their table manners? Table manners, yes. And their adoration of dreadful art and grocery clerks in uniform telling the orchestra what music it may not play. Vulgarity can be enough to send a man out of his country. I think so, yes. In other words, if they had uh, elegant table manners and good taste in art and let the orchestra play whatever it liked, they'd be all right with you. But how would that be possible? Can a people with respect for art go about hounding Jews? Is that possible for an artistic people? I'd like to agree with you, Prince Van Berg, but I have to say the German audience is... Uh, I've played there. No audience is as sensitive to the smallest nuance of a performance. Uh, they sit in the theater with respect, like in a church. And nobody listens to music like a German, don't you agree? It's a passion with them. I'm afraid that is true, yes. I don't know what to say. I understand perfectly. That's perfectly all right. 